This is award-winning actress Mary Elizabeth Winstead, most notably known as Ramona Flowers from the cult classic Scott Pilgrim vs. the World, pictured here walking the red carpet of the premiere of a little movie called Grindhouse, which was partially directed by none other than Quentin Tarantino. Oh, and this is Ryan Haley, member of the radioactive chicken heads, former professional birthday clown, and quite possibly the most interesting man alive. funny to think you guys ever think about how much footage of naked ryan is out there there's like i a thought lot. about that yeah i mean yeah. of course you do but for the rest of us to think about it i've seen at least one clip of it ryan haley also known as red state ryan or napkin the elf is an editor and occasional on-screen personality at a gaming and variety channel called funhouse he was born in 1986 in memphis tennessee and graduated from the University of Texas in 2009, where he acquired not only education, but also the previously mentioned moniker, alter ego, Napkin the Elf. But who exactly is this elf named Napkin, and what was he about? Well, I think it would be best if I let Chris Damaris from Rooster Teeth explain this one. He flipped the fuck out. Jesus. I had a, a guy in college I knew who really liked uh, Christmas. So for the- Okay, people do. No, no, yeah. For the entire month of December, he wore an elf outfit, like green tights, red uh, tunic. Okay. And, a, and like a Santa hat. Okay. And he would like, we'd, I'd be at the stop walk and I'd be like, oh, hey, Ryan. And he'd be like, sorry, Ryan, this isn't Ryan. This is his best friend, Napkin the Elf. Napkin the Elf. Yeah, and then I'd be like, oh, hey, Napkin. And he'd be like, here, you want some Christmas cookies? He had cookies in his pocket, so he wore the same outfit every day for a fucking month without washing it, probably. I, I mean, I don't know. And he kept cookies in his pocket. Okay, go ahead. Sorry. Yeah, I mean... You ate it? Yeah. Why not? Isn't that what kind of cookies? Little, like, you know, the little, like, uh... Ginger they're like, No, they're shaped like Christmas wreaths oh, okay. and, like, those kind of things with little, like, crystal... Like a sugar cookie. Yeah, with, yeah they were yeah. good. Yeah. Chris, this man was you, wasn't it? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> right? No, no, he, this he was... Chris, this is <laughs> no, no, I did have a really cool experience with Napkin the Elf, though. That, <laughs> that sounds like the beginning of, like, a drug story. <laughs> no, no, <laughs> like, man, I was fucked yeah. up. Napkin no, no, no. We were so Joshua that. Tree in this well, country. <laughs> so much fun. I was Napkin in a, uh, a lab <laughs> working on a, a film, and it's one of those things where it's like, there were no windows or anything like that, and I was in there for, like, five hours, and it was, like, the, like December 24th, third or something right right during finals and then the doors burst open and napkin the elf jumps out and it's like it's snowing it's a christmas miracle and then ran out <laughs> was, it was it snowing, snowing? yes it oh, was like yeah. the only day it snowed it, it was in austin texas wasn't. the only day it snowed that entire that. year i remember when it snowed here yeah and yeah. i was like what year was it uh i, I want to say it was like it would have been like 2003 or, or 2004 i'm not sure yeah. okay no 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 no. that's not wrong because that's that's 2008 or nine 2008 that's fairly recent. Yeah. yeah. I, don't, well. I mean, that's when I graduated. Oh, oh okay. Uh, so, yeah, it was, Chris, it was a Christmas miracle. It was a Christmas miracle. Brought and you then by he threw cookies. cookies. Did he really? No, he didn't okay. do that. That would have been awesome. <laughs> it would also if you had, like, snow or something. <laughs> like, it's it snowy. Uh, here, I'm going to read this. So there is something that I've been meaning to talk to you about for a while it? that I just remembered. Bring it up. Let's go. Uh, is it true Ooh. that when you're in university or college, as they call it here, you would dress up as an elf? in December and like right around campus? You must be referring to Napkin the Elf. I am. Is that you? Well, here's the thing is that, no, no, I didn't. I am Ryan. Napkin is Napkin. They are two separate <laughs> entities and people, okay? Mm -hmm. Ryan was not around when Napkin, Napkin was around for one month right. in December. And uh, 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 and when, I, when he was around, I was, Conveniently gone, but <laughs> he was he had a lot of fans in Austin, Texas. I know, that's how I found out. Not by you, but by someone you went to school with. <laughs> that's insane. Uh, was like, you work with the elf guy? <laughs> and I was like, what? <laughs> 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 they told me about Napkin the Elf, and I was like, oh my god. <laughs> I also like was told that you went pretty extreme, like the whole month you wouldn't break character. Napkin never 
never washed his clothes, his, his <laughs> elf suit for a whole month. And one time I got, uh, got in a big fight with his teacher about a grade as an elf in front of the whole class and everyone. That was the low point for a napkin. Not that you would know because you are not napkin. I heard yeah. all about it later, but yeah. It's made of the feeling that corresponds to humiliation. Uh, what I've also decided to do in the Ryan Haley spirit of performing is to have my internal monologue also be my external monologue. Yeah. Since that is how my hero Ryan Haley seems to live his life. Uh, this song's called Bed Bugs and it has one lyric. Please figure it out and sing along. <laughs> cool, this song's called Bed Bugs. Dragon son, he's a real handful of son of a gun. He's half dragon and half human. When Ryan wasn't walking around dressed up as an elf or attending classes, he was spending his time at a place he refers to as the co-op. It was a community of students and young people that lived together to save money on rent and related housing expenses. But at this place, living together meant something completely different than what you could possibly imagine when hearing those words. Wrap it up, yeah. Oh, and I do it again. I fuck the dragon and I do it again. I fuck the dragon and I do it again. My dragon son. My dragon son. Yeah, what's up, John? What were you doing back in 2007? Dude, that was like the prime of my life. Oh, well, that hurts. I was in college in Austin, Texas, living at the co-op, or as you call it, the fuck farm. Uh-huh. It wasn't a fuck farm, but that's what John calls it. That's what it was. You gotta poop and beer bong at the same time. Did people wear clothes on the fuck farm? It's a clothing optional establishment. No, I was butt naked for three years, basically. <laughs> I was having the most fun ever. Ryan. Yes. What if somebody had their period? Did they nude it up? Hey, well, you know, we're, it was a freewheeling, free lifestyle, baby. You know, who gives a shit? It's a human thing that happens to you. So I, just, I don't disagree fuck. with you. I'm just curious. Did you yeah. still have sex with them if they had their period? Man, we were just freewheeling it up, James. Yeah. Just no <laughs> one cared Guys. about anything. Ryan nudity footage that's out there that was like just the yeah the Ooh. best film screening I've ever been in my life. Okay, yeah. That I'll never forget. At the co-op, I was the videographer. The fuck farm. The videographer yeah. of the fuck farm, and I would make a big video yearbook at the end of every semester. And one semester, we had breakfast in bed made for you. Okay. So I filmed it. I got up way early at the crack of dawn, and I filmed it. And That's then really for the video, though, I intercut with everyone eating it, me uh, rubbing my balls and pancake batter and bacon and stuff so that it looked like a baby ball pancakes and butt bacon ball pancakes and butt bacon ball pancakes and butt bacon pancakes and butt bacon and butt bacon and butt bacon Killed. I cannot stress how much this part of the video killed. Did you make like syrup on oh. top of the dick, going through the dick into onto the pancake? And all this was fil is just filming of your genitals yeah. that you then cut and you presented to a bunch of people to as an end of year reward. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. How'd you get all the syrup off your nuts? I still haven't. Anyways, <laughs> what the heck is happening? There's a really good shot of me putting. There in, are no in, good in, shots. In between two pieces of toast and trying to eat it, you know, like you know. Are you joking? Or is there really a shot of you putting your genitals between two pieces of toast? Jesus. How, 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 how 
was long. Oh my god, that shot's on there right now. He said the F word and I missed it. He said the what word? He said the F word. Oh Oh my god. Hold on. I've since tried Ryan, how this might be a little bit too personal, but how how low can you go if you could fit him in a two pieces of bread and try to eat him? Well, I'm talking about the dick part. Oh, I thought you were trying to put your... He put his whole genitals in and he's trying to eat... Yeah, your large potatoes. Was the footage blurred or you were oh, just no. showing the... them footage of your dick? Oh, the footage was definitely not blurred on the at the actual screening. Because nobody yeah, cared there, right? You're nobody talking cared. about a place that literally we would have, yeah, like... Yeah, yeah. We'd have porn party night. Where, yeah. where, where 100 people are watching porn together. Watching, like, appreciating? Like, <laughs> watch, <laughs> watching and cracking up. Oh, my God, I think I heard my wife coming. <laughs> Laughing with there's, their there's nothing like watching porn with a hundred of your friends. <laughs> <laughs> it was a beautiful place. I know. It's like a Disneyland line. Yeah. I already got that reference. I didn't know they let people on the registered list in. Oh my no. god. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Which list? <laughs> They're registered for what? That's not true. <laughs> you two stay here. Oh, here we go. Can concentrate on profile. I one time accidentally got on that list for by accident. Which, Which list? <laughs> for, by accident. Which, Which list? <laughs> No! I, I almost got on the list. That's a very important word I left out. Almost, Matt. We gotta... How do we change this? <laughs> so, um... Or, uh, <laughs> what? <laughs> please elaborate, please. I was leaving the fuck farm. My last day at the fuck farm. Uh, okay. I can't be in this video. A clothing optional establishment. Shall we remember? Yeah. Okay. okay. The rules of the place. So when I made a joke about you being on a registered sex offenders list, <laughs> so it was th- actually true? No, it's not, because I said almost. So I'm like, all right, I'm going to be going home today. I'm going to uh, pack my car naked. Sure. All right? No yeah. one at the p- co-op cares about this. <laughs> yep. But it was in such a place where all of a sudden cops so come up to me. Aren't you worried about chafing? <laughs> no. Well, he's and naked not, and Vaseline. He's, he's naked. And I'm like, I'm like, and they're like, sir, put some clothes. And I was in a bonnet also, by the way. So I have a, uh, I have a bonnet on and nothing like a, else. Like a baby? Like, like, a a ba- like a big baby. I look like a big baby. And yeah. then I'm like, they're like, sir, put some pants on and come outside right now. So I put on these khakis inside out and it's with my bonnet on. And I go, yeah, what's the problem? They're like, we got a complaint. There's a naked man uh, uh, here. Somebody like, complained? And I'm like, "There's a cl- this is a clothing option place and I'm leaving today. I'm, I'm like leaving college today. And you're wearing a bonnet. And I'm wearing a bonnet, so I'm, I'm clothed. So they cuffed me, put me in the back of this thing, and and, uh, and they're like, sir, uh, this is that's ah! illegal, and you can be put on the, basically uh, essentially a sex oh offender list God. for public indecency. So I overhear like probably the most important phone call of my life. Man, we have the we have the person you complained about in the back of the cop car right now. Uh, yeah, we've uh, caught the big baby. Are you offended? Because if she says she's offended, I go to jail and get put on this list. Oh my god. If I'm not offended, they let me go and say, okay. Oh my so then, god. So they go, I have them here. What would you like us to do? Uh huh. Uh huh. You just want me to tell them to put clothes on? Okay. Okay. So was, All right, the, I was will. the question, are I'm you offended going, or was it, do you want to <sighs> place charges? It was pretty much that. You're just hanging some brain. <laughs> Let me ask you this question. Yes. <laughs> was it a big transition to go to a life wearing clothes? Not really a big transition. It was more just like, this is the freest place in America, man. <laughs> I, I'm going to miss it here. Yeah, I have like I four layers on just because I don't want to get on any more lists. How do you get anything done with all your adventures? <laughs> <laughs> Ryan's not on a list. Yeah. Almost on the list. Thank you, Elise. You're my second manager. You're hired. <laughs> if you were on any list, I would have thought it would be no fly. Well. Mm-hmm. No. Well, we don't have to talk about that. Oh, no. <laughs> what? What? I was temporarily on one. Why? Okay. No! <laughs> it wasn't a big deal. I Some of these sound worse than they are. Like that. How many of these are <laughs> there, though? <laughs> We're running out of lists. <laughs> I think I died. Oh, no. Okay. No, you're okay. All I did was that I uh, <laughs> went through security, and then I was like, oh, my friend is outside the airport. I'm going to go say hi to them, and then go back through security. Can't and I that. left my stuff Can't there. That. Oh, my God, oh. Ryan. Right? No. And then I and then I am trying to get back through the line to go to, uh, and stuff and then I go oh shit that, my wallet's there with like all my ID and stuff and my black and so then I detail his backpack I explained to the TSA I'm like hey so I don't have my ID I don't have any of my stuff it's all at this terminal and they're like you just 
left it on the tent. I'm like, I was going to be right back. I'm sorry. Oh, my and then, fucking uh, God. Uh, I'm like 16, 17. Is, this, this is post 9 11. Post 9 11. Yeah. Post 9 11. Oh, jeez. Right after 9 11, which is really important. Oh, my God. So then they escort me to my bags. And then by the while I'm there, there's all these dogs around it. And they're all like checking <laughs> into it. And they're looking through my shit. It's like all out. And they're just like going through it. And they go, we just for precautions, whenever this happens, we you know, like, it's automatic. You're on a no-fly list for <laughs> not a no-fly list, but a like check, we're gonna check, check you. you out more every time you fly yeah. for the next like two uh, years. Ryan, thank, oh my god! Thank God you're a white man. I remember the story well. In her defense, I think she was wearing an astronaut diaper. Diaper is a diaper. In her defense, I have gone to a party where we all wore diapers and tried to pee our pants and not tell each other, and it was really fun. And so I totally give her a pass. That's not, that is not a defense right, 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 at all. Right, right. All you did was have her drag you down into right, the muck. Right, Did anybody do it? Oh, yeah, we all peed. And then somebody was, uh, uh, somebody pooped. I'm not going to reveal their name. And it was, it was, Ryan. It was a Chris, big controversy. It was Chris Damaris. 100% Chris Damaris. <laughs> right, did everyone right, get right. diaper rash? Yeah, a little bit. Ryan. What's up, Elise? Right. Yes, Elise. Right. Question, Elise. Did, yes. Were the, was it those diapers where... <laughs> When you pee, they change color. No, I wish that would be that'd be hilarious. That's next level diaper party right there. Thank you for Ryan, that idea. Ryan, Ryan, Ryan. Yes, Elise. Yes, question. Were people trying not to pee? No, that was the point of the party. Elise was to pee at some point it, uh, while it, we had a okay. plenty of, of replacement Ryan. diapers. Ryan. So if you peed, you could go change your diaper, and we had a changing question. station. Yes, we had a changing question. station. Question. Yes, Elite James in the back. Yes, question. Uh, was it Chris Damaris who pooped himself? You know, I plead the fifth, confirmed nor deny it that. Was. I don't want to. Right. Yes, right. Elise. Yes, right. I'm gonna help you. Um, what? Uh, what? Uh, what? Uh, I haven't mm, seen her this excited Ryan. about anything Ryan. in my Ryan. whole life. Wait, Ryan. Hey, John, sing the song. Beautiful girl. Yes, John. Yes. Um, did you change your own diaper or did other people change your diaper for you? Some people were doing co-changing, like boyfriend, girlfriends were changing each other and stuff. Uh, I just changed myself. I didn't really want to put anyone through that. Did you so, lay yeah. on, uh, Ryan, Ryan. Yes, John. Yes. When you changed your diaper, did you lay on your back on the changing station yeah. and put your legs up? <laughs> I was a good boy. Yeah. Yes. Oh, God. <laughs> Ryan. Ryan. Did you powder your ass? <laughs> yes, at least. Yeah, there was powder there. Yes, there Ryan. was powder. Yes. Was, was there any manipulation or deception? Did people lie about the peeing? How can you lie about a, a wet, sloppy diaper that's like hanging off of somebody's uh, butt? It's gross. You don't want to. No, there's no lying. This happened. Oh, my God. No, no one's oh gonna, my god. No one's gonna brag All about right. peeing in a diaper and not actually do it. Any more questions? None. None. Okay. Do you remember Napkin the Elf? Well, believe it or not, he is just one of many characters in Ryan's repertoire. Better yet, most of them made an appearance on the Funhouse YouTube channel at some point, so there's plenty of footage available. But before we get to that, we must talk about the journey that eventually led the man to the place where he is now. For it's through the swamp, it has to be the way Make way through the mist until you see the day Your highway is the river, your freeway is the land Down into the muck, you will find the soul of man When you cannot go further, just look up to the... The year is 2010, and Ryan Haley arrives in LA with fresh degrees in film and advertising. Here, he took on various editing jobs, worked as film crew, did some directing, smoked tons of weed, performed as a birthday clown, smoked some more weed, made some connections in the industry, and a few years later, also developed a pilot episode of his own TV show called The Kids of Nar, which is currently freely available to watch on YouTube.
of now. By the way, I get a lot of enthusiasm from this guy right here. I don't, yeah, yeah, maybe, yeah, probably too much, actually. Everything okay? Yeah. All right. Where are you from? Memphis. Memphis. What are you, are you a student? No. Oh, no. Just crazy? Yeah. I used to be one of these people a long time ago. What? You used to be a Teletubby? Yes, you heard me right. Were you the purple one? I was anyone that... Hold I was on, were you Tinky Winky? Yes. Nipsey? No. Uh, no! Uh, what is it? Uh, so I was never Poe. I can't be Poe. I'm too Poe's tall. Poe's small. Poe's small. Yeah. Poe po was definitely played only by child slaves, uh -oh. right? But just to be clear, I was not just a Teletubby. I was all, I was an, a birthday party entertainer about 10 years ago, Adam. I wide-eyed, bushy-tailed Ryan Haley got off the bus and was like, I need to make money somehow mm -hmm. so I can pay my rent. Yeah. Because I wanted to make movies, but I didn't know how to make movies I when I got you. here. It's like, okay, how, do you get, you. how do I become Steven Spielberg? I, yep. All right, I need to have a few steps. Yep. Oh, yeah, Spielberg. Birthday party clown off Craigslist was my first job here. And I did that for five years. <laughs> so did you play a whole host of characters? Uh, every character. I, I'd show up on a third on a Friday, and then they'd say, "Okay, Ryan, you're gonna you have like six parties this weekend. You're gonna be Mario. You're gonna be SpongeBob. You're gonna be Tinky Winky. You're gonna mm. be Yo Gabba Gabba. You're gonna be uh, Minnie Mouse. Mm. You know, yeah. uh, wh whatever they needed." So <laughs> tell us, do you have any fun stories? The most awkward one was like when I'd be Spider Man. I'd, uh, uh, you know, I'm pretty tall. I was gonna say, yeah, six foot five yeah. Spider-Man uh, walks in. Yeah, well, and you know, it's like a like spandex pajamas. So I, uh, uh, there was one time in particular where I, I was like, 15 minutes into the party, you know, we're right out there uh, uh, in, in their front yard, and I'm, we're doing games and stuff. We're halfway through the games, and then uh, the, the dad comes up to me and goes, "Hey, Spider-Man." Uh, I want to talk to you over here, and I'm like, oh I'm in the middle of this thing, going, you know, I, I, like, like suspension of disbelief here. You know, I'm Spider-Man. He's like, all right, uh, sorry, kids, I gotta go uh, uh, talk to your dad. Mm -hmm. And then the the dad said to me, like, he's like, hey, so the women were talking, and I think you're you're showing through your spider suit. Mm. So uh, can you go like fix that or put something like on? Your dick. <laughs> like my dick was showing through the spider the suit. Is it, yeah, my, is the it outline. Annoying. One time I did a, a, a kind of save a child as Spider-Man. Really? That was pretty cool. Were you also what put the child in danger? <laughs> <laughs> I was Spider-Man and we were in the uh, front um, yard and uh, uh, I was making a million balloon animals for everybody and then all, all of a sudden I hear a big commotion like, like people yelling and something's going on in the street and, and I just look over and a bunch of the, of the guys at the party are beating the shit out of this one dude in the middle of the street. And they're like, Spider-Man, do something! <laughs> and you're like, oh fuck. Yeah. And then you look down at your dick outline. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna die today. What had happened was that the dad of the kid, who apparently was a big fuck up and not invited to the party, came to come to his crash the kid's party, Got it. and then was trying to like be, be Didn't pretty count aggressive. Spider Man being there. Well, and then mm. they so then they beat the shit out of his, the kid's dad at the party. Like, so what did you do? What? So hold on, I'm not to that point <laughs> yet. So then it was like, all right, that happened. The guy's gone. Party's back on mm -hmm. and stuff. And then it's like we go back out. I'm making balloon animals, and then I'm making like this awesome balloon hat for the for the main birthday kid. And then all of a sudden I just hear somebody come up from behind me and it's literally like I didn't say, I just hear this guy go like Danny Danny and it's I turn around and it's the bloody dad who'd run back up and like is trying to crawl back over me oh my to gosh. get to the kid and goes Danny happy birthday happy birthday and I'm just like whoa and he's like getting blood all over me and I'm like grabbing the kid and like everyone's like hey get the fuck out of here and you're like you're like uh not today yeah. green goblin yeah, right. <laughs> you're hurting my daddy yeah. And then, uh, yeah, I got the kid, and then I gra grabbed him while the guy's trying to come at me. And then, but then by that time, a couple other dads had like, wow. like grabbed the bloody other dad, and then we started to beat him up. During this time, Ryan was also running a YouTube channel where he was hosting a game show that was very obviously named Ryan's Game Show, and was mostly filmed in Ryan's garage. One man, one garage. One dream of being a game show host. One Craigslist ad. Two contestants. Two sign limited liability release forms. Two GoPro helmet cams. One referee. One real game show announcer. And one chance to be a winner. This is Ryan's Game Show.
Let's meet today's contestants. Hmm. What brought you to LA? Oh, the business. Oh, okay. Now it's time to meet your host, Ryan. <laughs> I was terrified because you know what you know what went through my head? I thought this was like one of them semi nine pro amateur porn videos. My mom last year for Christmas gave me a year's supply of ramen noodles. I'm slowly working through it, but frankly I'm sick of it. Ryan wanted some home cooked meals since he was sick of eating ramen. How do bananas have sex? In 2014, Ryan was hired as head editor for the wildly popular YouTube channel Fred, where he honed his editing and directing skills. After that, he joined Wisecrack, which is currently a hugely successful channel mostly focused on philosophy and pop culture, but back then they were only getting started. And I like to believe that it was in a big part thanks to Ryan's influence that the channel got as big as it is today. The co-founder of Wisecrack, Jacob Salomon himself, said that Ryan Haley's fingerprints are all over Wisecrack. How did you get that job, the Wisecrack job? That I had uh, my initial roommate when I moved here uh -huh. and a guy I knew from Austin, Jared Bauer, you know, he's. I met him in editing class. We just became, you know, he's okay. a big movie buff, and uh -huh. we just became buddies. And um, I mean, we have very different personalities, but I think that that was kind of our, yeah. you know, it was fun. Like uh, we became fast friends. And then when, yeah, it was years after I had already moved out here, and he had kind of made he had made connections in Austin too uh -huh. and stuff. And then one day, like years later, he's like, Ryan, I'm starting this company um, with my buddy, this guy Jacob, and uh, we need an editor. And at the time, I turned him down. Because uh, I was working for Fred, you know, right, the Fred right, right. channel. And then the longer that the Fred channel went on, I mean, I love the Fred channel was great because that was like my first big editing job. But yeah. then I could kind of see the writing on the walls. I was like, I don't think this channel is going to have much life in it after mm -hmm. about eight months. You know what yeah. I mean? And I was right. And so then at some point I was like, hey, Jared, how's that uh, Wisecrack job? Uh, so that was his company? Your buddy started Wisecrack? My, yeah, my buddy started Wisecrack. And, and then he was in your editing class. He was in my editing class. And yeah. that was at... We're Austin? University of Texas. Yeah, University yeah. in Texas. Are you going to tell the story of when you accidentally showed up at John Carpenter's house? <laughs> <laughs> All right, yeah. When I first came to L.A. like 10 years ago, I was so gung-ho about I really wanted to work on a John Carpenter movie. I heard that he was going to make a new movie, so I immediately looked up the production company to go bring my resume there, and I found two addresses. One of them wasn't open that day. The other one uh, uh, was way up in the hills, and I went to it, and I knocked on the door and John Carpenter answered in his pajamas <laughs> and with his house and all of his dogs were there. And I was just standing there with my resume and uh, I was starstruck. I, I didn't know. I, I lit, my first reaction was to just play dumb. I don't know why I did that, but I, I basically just said, uh, is this the production company for John Carpenter's movie? <laughs> and he's like, no. Get out! Get out! He didn't say get off of my. He, his look, his his eyes said get off of my property. But I'm just like okay, sorry, and then I just walked away <laughs> ashamed. So did that, that discourage you from giving your resume to the other address? No, well, no, I did go drop it off there later, but I definitely like, it, they, and they never called me back. But it, it definitely just, it just discouraged me in general that John <laughs> Carpenter, I ruined his afternoon. It seemed like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is a, an aside, but all these narratives that Ryan and I grew up with of all the people who just took that extra step to to uh, really put themselves out there, I don't know. I think all the, that had kind of run its course, and now when you take that extra step to show people that you're committed and passionate, it just comes off as creepy. <laughs> This is butt chugging. By drinking beer through your ass, you bypass your digestive systems, kidneys, and liver. It's one of the most dangerous things you could ever do, but also one of the most ethical. What's up, Wisecrack? Welcome to Show Me the Meaning, Wisecrack's movie podcast. My name's Michael. Show me the meaning! 
Oh, I fucked up already. I'm so sorry. That was a great show me the meaning. Uh, that'll be the last mistake. My name's Michael. I am here with Ryan and Lost Austin. Film fans. And Austin. Yo. And today we're going to discuss the 2019 film Uncut Gems by the Safdie Brothers. This is Edward Forty Hands, and this is Edward Scissorhands. Released in the winter of 1990, this film would inspire an entire generation to change the way they drank forever. It's extremely uncomfortable, super inconvenient, and honestly not very fun, but also one of the most ethical things that you could ever do. Trade in your ability to write for a cold Miller Lite. Your means to drive for a Colt 45. And as you raise your steel reserve, say this loud so you can be heard. I, I am ethical. ethical. Cheers, guys. <laughs> <laughs> And that brings us to Ryan's current job at Funhouse, where he quickly became one of fan favourites, and his main character energy really started to shine. Uh, what chance encounter that randomly happened to you changed your life forever? Changed my life forever? Yeah. Uh, probably running into this motherfucking company. <laughs> you know, like, like That's that. True. It was so random. Like I didn't know about it before, and then. All of a sudden, how did you hear about this it. job? Uh, my old job, Wisecrack, recommended me. You know, uh, somebody that, that you knew there. Yeah, my boss and my old job knew some of the Funhouse people, and then uh, I saw that, or somebody else had forwarded me the Funhouse job listing. Yeah, and I'm like, don't we know somebody there? And he goes, Oh my god, you'd be great for that! And he like recommended me. That's so and sweet then, uh, to have to for somebody to so random, support yeah. you in that way. That's really cool. It was yeah, it was so great. All right. Oh my god. And you're starting with Mofocart Double Deck. Oh, uh, boy. Ryan, what is this your first GTA gameplay? Yeah. Here you go, bud. Oh, my God. This is it. They finally asked me to be in a gameplay video. This is the best moment of my life. Now, do not screw this up Don't for us, Ryan. <laughs> Don't you dare embarrass us again, Ryan. Listen to me. I'm the captain now. All right. So what are, what are we playing? This is Mofo Caught Double Deck. This is basically like um, battle mode in Mario Kart. Got it. But oh, you have cars and rockets. Ryan, for the people who don't know you, yes, you edit for Funhouse, That's true. and you're a GTA master. Um, yeah. That's correct. I got my grandma to buy me GTA for Christmas, like the first so one that great. came out. You were uh, like, buy it for me, grandma. And she's like really Christian, and uh -huh. so I was like mortified <laughs> for the rest of my adolescence that she was responsible for this game in our house. Oh, GTA geez. 2 has a cult in it, so that's kind of like religion, yeah, right? So if you told her yeah. that, like yeah. you could drive around a bus that a cult owns, that's kind of like a good thing. Oh, I will tell she her that. Understood. My mom bought me a- uh, I saw the little number go up. It was exciting. Fourth place. Fourth place. I rode my bike to the Hollywood Park Casino the other day. That was uh, oh. uh it was bad when I figured cool. out I could do that. What are you playing? War. Yeah. Some blackjack, baby. You bike there, mm -hmm. and then you lock your no, bike they, up. They, uh, we, we can go to the next you, topic. And you get off your bike and you walk into the casino. Yeah. Someone up there from the penthouse looks down and goes, "Here comes the high roller. <laughs> get the <laughs> pit bosses on the horn. Send someone down and offer them free drinks in a room. <laughs> <laughs> this guy just locked up his bicycle outside. Yeah, he didn't even do the lock thing where he locks his front tire to the frame to the Thing. He doesn't care. <laughs> <laughs> Clouds are nice. Calm three says Ryan tearing his vaccine card to make tips for his joints. Legend. Ryan, you took everybody out of the, at the moment. <laughs> you brought us into reality so hard. I have my uh, my uh, vaccine thing, but I keep tearing you keep pieces that with you. Vaccine card? I, I keep tearing pieces of, off of I it to make little crutches for my joints. It was like was hitting Wario. a wall. <laughs> We were like, we were did like that. can I ask <laughs> why did you do that? Well, if did you, you not go like this is important? What is more important? Do I want to take the time to go find a random piece of cardboard in the trash or something? Or Wait, would it be easier I, to go get another question. vaccine card? There are many. And just order it online or something. Lots of questions I have being a question. Right. Have I smoked your vaccine card? <laughs> <laughs> you haven't gotten COVID, have you? No. <laughs> All right. I think it's because he misunderstands it and thinks that the card is the vaccine and takes a nibble every time he goes somewhere. <laughs> I actually think it's almost perfect. Perfect. Okay. The only thing it's really missing is a super epic dragon based rock soundtrack. Oh, well, I mean, you know who, what I'm saying? Who are we gonna, we, how could 
that's not something that just exists yeah, yeah, we, that I'm aware of. It can only be one band, right? Yeah, it can. Yeah. We're all thinking I, the same band? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Dragon, Dragon Force! Force. Dragon Force. Know, but where are we going to find Dragon Force? They're standing right, there. right over there. Yeah, they're right oh, there. come on in, Dragon Force! Yeah, yeah, let me make room for you. Everyone, it's here. Alicia Vigil and Herman Lee from Dragon Force! Oh my what, god! Welcome to what, Funhouse! What, how did so we end up here? What happened? I don't know. Oh shoot, my dragon head. Oh, I, th I thought that was a real dragon. That's why I was coming to hang out, oh, but it's <laughs> you. Baby, you just had a, a dragon baby. I did. I have a little dragon yeah. baby with me. Oh, you know, I actually have a dragon-based rock song about giving birth to a dragon son. Would you guys like to hear it while yeah. he plays this game? It's okay yeah. to say no, too. Yeah, yeah, you're allowed to say, oh, careful there. Jeez. Are the lyrics on there? There's a chance you, a professional talented musician, may have to hold Ryan's phone so he can remember that C comes after G. I don't know how you feel about that. All right, here we go. Here we go, okay. The you alright? You got it? Can you hold my phone so I, I told you. that C comes after G? Thank you so much. Alicia would you say, from Dragon Would you say Force. this is your lowest point as a, mu <laughs> as a musician? Look at that. Oh, Look at that. Wow, that inspired me. Hey, Alicia. Are you, would you like to hold my lyrics again while I play another <laughs> Dragon song? Sure, yes. <laughs> you can always say no. Forage through the swamp, it has to be the way. Make way through the mist until you see the day. Your highway is the river, your freeway is the land. Down into the muck, you will find the soul of man when you cannot go further. Just look up to the sky. The sun becomes obscured from something flying in the night. The dragon spreads its wings and looks into my eye. And then he says the words I will remember my whole life. It isn't fair. It isn't fair. Oh, I cried and I cried and I cried, but the dragon didn't care. No, oh, it isn't fair. Come on, everybody. Again, it isn't fair. No, oh, I cried and I cried and I cried, but the dragon didn't care. Harmon Lee Solo, go. Well, at least we found the, the GC, the A minor. Oh, yeah. That was really catchy. Uh, nice question for Dragon Force. When's the last time you were held hostage and forced <laughs> yeah, to yeah. listen to someone's songs? One time there was a, um, this famous person called the Hacks Cross Creeper in Memphis. I'm, like, scared of you now. I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> there was like, a Hacks Cross Creeper okay. in Memphis, and it came to my house. He came to my house and what, was in really? my room while what? I was asleep. Are you no, serious? Are you joking? I swear to God, yeah. Haley came out of his room when he heard a noise. That's when the burglar came out of this room and the two met face to face. The way, the way it happened to me, I wake up and I just see my dad run into my room and he just looked at me and then he runs out going, hey, hey, hey. And I went out in the hallway just to see, I thought one of my kids was up and uh, had a mask on and I yelled at him. And apparently he had seen the Hacks Cross Creeper coming out of my room while I was asleep in the middle of the night. And then he just came in to see if I was fucking alive or stabbed to death. Do you want to ask your question first or should I? <laughs> what the fuck, man? <laughs> How do you still have so many stories that keep being this shocking. Yes. Um, okay. okay. So he's a creeper or a killer? He's a creeper. He just comes into people's houses, creeps around. Doesn't even take a whole lot. He just apparently gets a thrill out of walking through people's houses. He was very brazen. Like, like he would do it, he'd turn all the lights on in someone's house. He turned all the lights on in our house and he stole my little brother's bike and got it. That was his getaway nice. bike. Nice. But he doesn't yeah. kill anybody. So that's why it was kind of weird. It was like, oh wow, he's just going in and, uh, uh, and stealing like 10 bucks or something from someone's house. But then about 20 break creeps later he did end up raping someone oh my so, god okay and then they caught then they caught him how <laughs> this is proof the simulation is real we are all in your video game i feel like everyone feels like the main character in their own life no. uh -huh. i don't <laughs> no i'm definitely no. a supporting character tertiary at best in the ryan haley 100 they give him all the like good scripted events so that he has journeys to go on. yeah like they're like we got to make sure that this happens and this happens so the players <laughs> don't get bored and i'm just out here like i don't know i took a nap yeah again <laughs> uh schoolyard sports which favorite schoolyard sport um 
What's I'm thinking of the the non-offensive word for it now? What's the, <laughs> the non-offensive the, word for it? Come on, Memphis. It's, it's, uh, 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 what's the? It, it's where you somebody has a ball and then they run away from the crowd of people that you know. We called it <laughs> in Tennessee. Oh my Whoa. god. Holy okay. shit. Oh That's shit, we're streaming right now. Oh <laughs> it was a bunch I mean, of kids. you were just saying what it was called, I was and you also were acknowledging called. that it shouldn't have been called that. Exactly. I mean, we had I don't know what it, that is called. Of, I think it was called of, Tag the, <laughs> everywhere else <laughs> except for Tennessee. Oh my God. Wow. I like that you're sweating. <laughs> you're like, you're like, <laughs> <laughs> like a politician. Hold <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> on a minute. Um, I'm planning out my apology already. <laughs> wow. Good job, Ryan. Your first gameplay video and you said something so offensive it had to be beeped. I'm ashamed that I'm you. You fucking suck. Wait, why did I leave that part in? I'm editing this. One time I was in Austin, Texas. Mm-hmm. So I was hitchhiking at three in the morning and then a, a dude in a little Caesars uh, uniform picked me up and I said where I needed to go and he said he would take me there but he needed to stop by Little Caesars first. We we're there at Little Caesars. Oh, he's like, hey, you want a pizza or anything? You want some some seven up? I'm like, no nah, man, it's three in the morning. I'm just trying to go home. But then he's like, well, uh, so do you want to get your door sucked right now? <laughs> oh, shit. At Little Caesars. <laughs> he didn't say the at Little Caesars, but we were at Little Caesars. And I'm like, nah, man, I'm okay. <laughs> did, he, did he say, can I chew on your Little Caesar? Five dollar hot and ready right now. <laughs> did he at least drive you home? Once I made it clear, I was, uh, I'm shit. good. I definitely was like, oh, no, but I, I can go get a ride somewhere else. He's like, no, 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 I, I can ride you home. What did Lady Gaga wear when she accepted her award for video of the year at the 2010 VMAs? Uh, you see me now that you're like, I'm like, special. <laughs> Go, Lana. Was that one like the meat one? A meat suit, yes. But do you know who inspired Lady Gaga to make her meat dress? It was from a 15-year-old Ryan Haley, who infamously wore a vest made out of raw bacon to school for Tacky Day in 2001, a full nine years before Lady Gaga's meat dress, forcing the administration to make a new rule about wearing animal products to school, known as the Ryan Haley rule. So who wore it better? I'll let you be the judge. This has been Behind the Trivia with Ryan Haley. Yeah. yeah. I have one of those. I had a horn when I was a kid. My you had a horn? horn? You, you know, I have a really long head. My mom was in a 12-hour labor. Oh, Jesus. And, and, getting that head and, out? And, and getting that head out. They said at the end, my head was all like yeah. molded into a, you know, because they're all soft. Your fontanellas. Ah. And then they had to mold my head back into shape. Wow. After all, oh, that's so that's why I have this weird head. Can you imagine having that amount of power? Power in your hands <laughs> of shaping a human skull. Yeah. How flexible are brains? I think when you're first born, oh, very yeah. flexible. So you can mold that too and it won't kill you. Yeah. God, this man. This is going to be the most memorable thing that's ever happened in these children's lives. This is the, their big day, but it's your big day to make it their big day. Don't f it up, Juggy the Juggalo. You know what? Do, do we really need expensive things for Christmas? Do you really need to spend money at Christmas? No. Yeah. No. 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 I think no. That, yeah. I wasn't on expecting it. anything from you anyway, Ryan. Yeah. The good. <laughs> <laughs> the journey. The journey you've taken us on is the gift that we could. Exactly. All, all I want to do for a belated Christmas is hang out with all my friends. Oh, great. With some cheap games. All right. That sounds perfect. It. Yeah. That's what we're gonna do. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. So that's why I brought some of my best friends in the world today. My favorite poultry rock band. Oh, of course. The Radioactive Chicken Heads. First up is Carrot Top. Whoa. Carrot Top. Welcome to the show, dude. High five, man. Yeah. Wait, good to see you too. I'm glad you're still alive, Ryan. Yeah, you were there for that, that whole fiasco with Guar decapitating me and stuff. So were you yeah, in on that, that Carrot Top? Were what? you like a, you knew Ryan's plan? Uh, Carrot Top, it, it turned out that I did all that. That was all me. It was a big part of my conspiracy. Wait, what? It's a long story. Next up, we got Sergeant Cyclops! Whoa. What up, dude? Whoa! Hey, Sarge. Oh, I know, because you're a sergeant and you have one eye. Uh, next up, we got Rockin' Robin! Woo, looking good, Rockin' Robin! Thanks for coming! Very late Christmas! <laughs> we're we're of the coop! We're the coop! We also got Nuke Boy! The drummer! Yeah, what up, Nuke Boy? Oh, yeah, he's crazy! This guy's insane! Oh, he's a loose cannon! Watch out, Nuke Boy! Who, who am I forgetting? Oh, yeah, that idiot, Bird Brain! Uh, what? <laughs> <laughs> That's a weird way to intro. Oh, hey, Bird Brain! 
Is it safe to come in? Oh, oh, he's got a, He's really scared and stuff. He's oh, got a what's mask. the matter, Bird Brain? It's okay. Uh, you can take your mask off, Bird Brain. Oh, look is at it him. Is safe in here? Okay. Yeah. yeah. It's yeah. safe in here. Yeah, it's, it's really a safe, safe space. It's safe in here. Brain, no, yeah, no, 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 no. I feel like that's everybody. Is, is Actually, you know what? Yeah. You would think that would be everybody. But I don't want this to be a normal Christmas special. No. No. That's yeah. not what I want at all. I want this Christmas special to be 5,000 times better than any Christmas special that's ever happened. What the fuck are you saying to me right now, Ryan? You know exactly what I'm saying, James. We have to invite Spider One from Power Man 5000 to celebrate belated Christmas what? with us. What? Welcome what? to the show, Spider One! What? Who? What's going ah, on? You yeah. Holy cow! Uh, yeah. Okay. All right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He's yeah. Dude. Yeah. 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 Holy yeah. shit! I can't believe this... you're here. Yeah, me neither. When I was uh, uh, when I was Broby from Yo Gabba Gabba at Gwen Stefani's child's uh, fourth birthday party, mm -hmm. uh, on. Nicole Richie and the guy from Good Charlotte, I would I would spy on them. I was stalking them from inside my my Yo Gabba Gabba head. And uh, 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 and then the other guys from the Charlie came. I didn't see Apple Levine there. I saw all of No Doubt. Yeah, I was Broby. There's a party in my tummy. Is that the so red yummy? One? So yummy. Is that the red one? No, it's the green one, motherfucker. Sorry. Wow, this, this guy has us? no skin. Hottie with a body. Oh, what's our name? Judge Joe Brown. JJB. Judge, Judge Joe, Joe Brown. Judge yeah, Joe from TV. Brown. And if you ask your mother why. Yeah, uh, why don't you, you need a man to help raise me? I don't understand, Judge, what good's a man for? Well, there you go, little lady. Believe it or not. Oh, God. Uh-oh. Here we fucking go. <laughs> here it is, here it comes. <laughs> Some fucking Ryan. psycho story where <laughs> just saying, it's Ryan just stole yeah. Judge Joe Brown's shoe or <laughs> ate it or something. It's crazy. Of all the people you said, you said Judge Joe Brown. He is, uh, uh, lives in my neighborhood okay. in Memphis, Tennessee. Wow. Oh, okay. Wow. That's better than I thought. Yeah, and we did steal his mail once. There you go. Hey. There it is. Yep. <laughs> Committed a felony, actually. Well, that was kind of the joke. It's it was like, serious felony. Like, Let's see if we can steal his mail, and maybe, worst case scenario, we get on his show. Yeah, there we go. That's what? thinking. Here's my question. I was a child. Did Except you go to real court for that, not small <laughs> claims court. And then that spawned, you know, the, the popularity of that video, that viral video, I'm pretty sure led them to go, all right, we got to up the ante. What's bigger than Orion meetup? Orion rave. Mm -hmm. So then they were like, oh, we're going to we're gonna hold it in L.A., and that's when, you know, everyone started sending me the flyer for the Ryan Rave, the save the date for the Ryan Rave. And then I'm like, well, okay, I missed the Ryan meetup. I have to go to the Ryan Rave. Yeah. I would be a fool to not go to the Ryan Rave and hang out with my fellow Ryans. And so then I put on my calendar and that's what I did by myself because I don't know anyone else named Ryan out here. Um, really? Yeah. Do you know another Ryan? I know. I rest my case. Yes, okay. I do. Oh well. Okay. All right. Well, that why, answers... why didn't you tell me? <laughs> <laughs> we could have, I could have had another friend there. I, well, I already have so many questions. I, 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 <laughs> well, I, what I want to do first is I want to set up kind of the general picture first. Okay. Uh, so that actually answers my second question, which was: Is this something that you put on your basement? <laughs> so no, I had nothing to do with the. And for creation I, and of this event. I just want to say, you just getting like invitations for people to show up to this weird place. I would get murdered if I did that. <laughs> and right? specifically in this, they held it in these weirdest, uh, sketchiest part of LA. Well, it was like yeah. in the middle of nowhere. Uh, well, that was that was my next question, which was where did this take place? And kind of give us the setting yeah. of the Ryan Ray. And Lindsay and Charlotte and I were always talking about how like the things that you do off the seat of your pants that you do... <laughs> Just, oh, I'm going to live in, we would get murdered. <laughs> uh, you would get murdered. Power numbers. <laughs> <laughs> if you get all the Ryans there, you're not, we're not yeah. hungry. We can't all get murdered. Skyscraper is just The Rock's diehard because every action star gets a diehard. Jean-Claude Van Damme has the hockey one. Steven Seagal has Under Siege. I used to live near him. Steven Seagal? Huh? <laughs> He came into the restaurant I worked at while I was a busboy, and he only uh, had ate a cake and half a glass of water, and I drank the other half because I wanted his powers. Oh yeah, dude, that is such a <laughs> weird. Like, there's so many other things you could do. You probably oh, got like her powers. <laughs> yeah. Well, I got his powers too. Okay. Why so. are you scratching like that? <laughs> <laughs> Filthy yeah, fucking mouth. You could have had all the powers of Steven Seagal. Yeah, you gotta slick back your hair. The problem is you didn't lick from my fork after drinking the water. <laughs> 
What does it take <laughs> to change the essence of a man? See, I do that when I think also. Yeah. Broken Profiles. generator, uh-oh, that's the worst thing. A whole party can just get destroyed for a broken generator to happen. A whole party? I was at this party uh, underneath an overpass over the weekend. This is recently, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and the whole thing's run by a generator. The generator's fucked up. There's like mm -hmm. 300 people on an overpass. There's gonna be a riot. What? Dude. We raised our beers to Benson oh, uh, uh, yeah, and, and went while a helicopter was was. Oh, he would it. love that. A helicopter. I'd play, the, I'd play the clip. <laughs> This happens repeatedly? Oh, yeah. Yeah, how often does it happen? Pretty repeatedly. Yeah. Pretty yeah. repeatedly. <laughs> <laughs> and play the clip of this guy uh, with a flamethrower. Welcome to fucking hell! Was this legal, Ryan? Well, no, there's, that's why there's police helicopters <laughs> circling us. Devil's Advocate. Yes. It was clearly a celebration to honor my dog. There yeah. you go. Yeah, <laughs> and Devil's Advocate, the police did come on the bridge, but they were too lazy to come break up the party because it was too long oh, of a walk. This so. is actually a good test here. Ryan. <laughs> yeah. If we could see past this filthy sink and into this property, mm -hmm. is it nice or bad? I mean, I would live there. That doesn't really answer. Yeah. <laughs> or does that? <laughs> Ryan, another question. Yeah. Did you see the TikTok videos of that woman, the young woman that discovered another room behind her bathroom mirror in her New York apartment? It was like no. a whole other apartment behind there. No. And like it was empty and mm -hmm. looked like it had been cordoned off. Mm -hmm. Would you live there? I will live anywhere. Oh, okay. I have. <laughs> and uh, uh, I, the lowest I've gotten my rent down is $100. A hundred dollars. You've paid a hundred dollars to rent a place in LA. Yes, did I did. You have roommates. I rented an eight hundred dollar room. Uh -huh. Okay, and I in a in a in a house, and then yeah. I said, hey, is it? Can I rent out part of this room to someone else? How big was you, this wait, room? You su <laughs> wait, hang Hold on. on. <laughs> you sublet your eight hundred dollar room. Yeah. He sublet a portion, a portion of, his of my room. room. So how big was the room compared to the room we're in now? The room was about half of this size <laughs> with, with with a big walk-in closet with a window in the walk-in closet, which is important. To what? The outside? To the outside. <laughs> That's a hey, I'm with Ryan. That makes another room. That makes another room. And it was <laughs> another room. So I found so I didn't just find another roommate to find to get to pay the seven hundred dollars while I took the one hundred dollars and, and made my room in the in the walk-in closet. I found two nineteen-year-old music uh, musicians that had come out here from North Carolina. Hey, and, what a sad state! And, and they're like, "Hey, uh, I was like, do you guys want to split my seven hundred dollar main portion of the room and I'll sleep in your walk-in closet for a hundred bucks?" And they happily obliged. You had a bed. I had a a, a couch that took up the entire uh, length of uh, length of the okay. walk-in closet. That was my bed and my room. Question: Elise from Funhouse. Yes, at least from fun out. What was the bathroom situation? Because you added two additional people to this shared living. We th I'm sure there were other roommates in the house as well. So how many yeah. people shared? There was like about 13 people sharing one bathroom. Okay, so how many? There was so how many bedrooms? <laughs> on paper, James. okay. <laughs> James, 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 fun right, James yes. funhouse. Calm down, calm down. Um, so on paper, uh, if you were to ask the the government, how many <laughs> bedrooms and bathrooms this apartment had, what would the government documentation say? One, two, three, this uh, is Ryan's apartment. One, two, <laughs> he wishes. <laughs> well, there's technically Whoa. only f three official bedrooms. No, I'm sorry. There's four official bedrooms. <laughs> we made every place a bedroom. How many bathrooms? I was about to ask, yeah. One bathroom. One. Okay, one bathroom. Yeah. Four, yeah. one. It was a 4-1, a... which already should be illegal. Uh, uh, Charlotte, what's your question? I know you've got one. I was wondering if the four of you ever used the bathroom at the same time. Well, you know, because 13 people, there's tons of times where more than one or three people need to shit at the same time. Mm -hmm. And then it's just luck of the draw. It's survival of the fittest. Yeah. Darwinism. Survival of finest. the shittest. That's that classic funhouse material that Ooh, only happens when you We're back, baby. We're back, back. baby. We're Hope here. you enjoyed the video. <laughs> we'll see you next year. This was, is, and always will be Ryan Haley's world. Thank you for watching. When the aliens come down, all they really want to see is the pyramid by the river down in Memphis, Tennessee. Made of glass and some brass, it'll knock you on your ass. Make your damn jaw drop. What's that? It's our Bass Pro Shop. Duh, what you think it was? Doesn't every city have a big ass pyramid by the mud? Yeah, some people want the rise because they think that they're on drugs. But they're really at the best place to shop. It's our Bass Pro Shop. You and me, let's learn some history. It took many Egyptians like a million centuries.
you had to finally make the pyramids into what they came to be And now everybody see what we got, we got a Bass Pro Shop Hell yeah, working cutting on this fish Makes me wanna shake my ass in it, makes me wanna fish Yeah, it has some proper size in all the hieroglyphics It's a bluff city, now top Party at the Pro Shop Party at the Pro Shop that's a big ass pyramid, man. Party at the show shop. What have I done with my life? <laughs> Uh, what the fuck was that?